We have a rod that's suspended from the ceiling. We need to find the delta L of the rod and delta V by V. So second part, delta V by V, we have already calculated previously in the previous problem and that is delta L by L 1 minus 2 mu. So we need delta L by L, which we'll get from the first part. So let's find that and just like in the last few problems we have done, the stress is varying. So we cannot directly write the strain. So we'll take an element at a distance x from the bottom. The width of the element is dx. And this part is being pulled at the top and the bottom with a tension, let's say tx. Due to this the stress, let's say the elongation in dx part alone is d delta L. So on this dx element, we can write stress upon strain is equal to y. So stress will be tx upon s, strain will be d delta L by dx. What will be tension at a distance x? So this tension is pulling up this part of the rod and mass of this part of the rod is x by L into g. So sorry, x by L into m. So the weight supported after this point is x by L m into g. That is Tx, we'll put that and now we'll get a relation between x and delta L by integration. So x varies from 0 to L and delta L varies from 0 to delta L. So you might be, uh, you might have understood why we have taken x from the bottom. So it makes our calculations a little bit easier. Otherwise, if you take from the top, instead of x, you will have to write L minus x for the mass. So this is simpler. You'll get the same answer, doesn't matter, either way, but this is simpler. So solving this, you get the value of delta L is equal to this, which is what we wanted. And if you put the delta L value here, you will get delta V by V, which is part B. All right.